Declines in the Swiss franc, European bonds, and Chinese performance have made investment in these environments comparatively cheap, creating lucrative opportunities for savvy global investors. Tal Kinan, founder and CEO of investment management firm Clarity Capital, joins us on the phone for more. Mr. Kinan. Hi, Benjamin. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with the Swiss franc. How did the currency soften and what implications does it have? Well, the Swiss franc move was, uh, I mean, of everything you just mentioned, is probably the most violent uh, of, of kind of the recent market moves. Um, and that happened because the Swiss Central Bank, the Swiss National Bank, uh, was keeping a cap on, uh, on the uh, appreciation of the Swiss franc at, at 1.2 euros. And uh, on January 15th, and kind of in a surprise move, you removed that cap. Uh, really sending the, the Swiss franc up at, by the end of the day about 23% against the euro, which in, 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 in uh, currency market terms is a, is a huge, huge move. Uh, hurt a lot of people, helped a few people, uh, but I think that's been the, kind of the biggest, most violent move from, from those that you've mentioned. Okay. Well, staying in the Eurozone, I mean, government bond yields in the Eurozone have plummeted to record lows since the European Central Bank started purchasing government debt as part of a 60 billion euro a month quantitative easing program. It basically was meant to stimulate the Eurozone's sluggish economy, but negative interest rates sweep across Europe. Investors are effectively paying government bond issuers for holding their debt. I mean, what's the story there? Yeah, that's right. So in, in many of the Eurozone countries, uh, we're seeing now uh, negative yields on most short-term uh, government bonds, meaning kind of a two- to five-year debt. Uh, you give the government, you know, 100 euros, it promises to give you back 99. Uh, and people are buying this. By the way, in the extreme case, in, uh, in Switzerland, we're, we're seeing negative yields on 10-year debt. Um, Why are people so buying this? What is the incentive? Right. Well, so first of all, there, there's certainly a lot of uh, fear in the market right now, and, and bonds are, you know, are, are typically considered a safe haven investment. I, I think very few people actually see real value in these bonds. Uh, you know, we could see in the year and in, in the near term, you know, uh, depending on the size and duration of the, of, of uh, the European Central Bank's quantitative easing program, we could see further compression, further negative rates. Um, although, you know, negative. 20 basis points is 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 the cap. Uh, Mario Draghi, the the, uh, the central the European Central Banker, um, ha has indicated that in the quantitative easing program there will be no purchases of bonds that are trading at at, at uh, below 0.2 percent yields. So that's kind of a cap on where things could could go. Um, which basically says, you know, we really have one direction to go on bond yields, which is up uh, longer term. Right. The question is how long that takes. Okay, well, now on the last comment here, I mean, Chinese growth dropped to its lowest in 24 years. Will we see a further slowdown and how can investors profit from it? Uh, right, so good question. I mean, it, it certainly uh, uh, Chinese shares have been beaten up recently. Um, and there's been quite a bit of volatility, quite a drop two days ago as well um, uh, in Chinese shares or global uh, uh, global equities. Um, you know, it's going to be an interesting story to watch in China. Everything is linked. Uh, you're right. We, we are going to see probably in 2015 uh, the first dip below uh, 7 percent in, in, in Chinese GDP growth um, in the last 20 plus years. So that is uh, potentially a big deal. That 7% by, by many economists has right. been viewed kind of as a magic number for sort of the sustainability of the Chinese, uh, uh, economic model. Okay. Uh, it, we'll see. I mean, it, but it's all linked at the end of the day, if Europe, uh, doesn't start growing, if Japan doesn't start growing, it's, right. it's going to be very difficult to well, see Japan. It'll be interesting China. to actually see how this all plays out. Tal Kenan, founder of Clarity Capital. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me.